Hello, Green Light Today family. I'm coming to you from off the road, so hopefully you can hear me. I'm visiting family and relatives over several states um, on this Memorial Day weekend. And I got a bit of sad news. One of my, I guess, great uncles, he was 96, he passed away. Um, but when I think of him and everything I've heard about him is that he was full of joy and life and he did um, everything he wanted to. He was like a Frank Sinatra, right? And his wife is like a Mrs. Frank Sinatra. They did things their way. And so I wanted to read this quote by Dylan, uh, Dylan, I'm sorry, Dylan Thomas. And it says, do not go gentle unto that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. I love that quote. And I don't think that quote is necessarily meant for the day of your death. I interpret it as a quote meant for your life, your whole life before death. It's, it's, um, it's a challenging life, right? This life is not easy. It's not always smiles and things going your way. It's, um, it's uh, the opposite a lot of times. But I know that our reaction to what happens in our life determines the, the route of our life, right? The root of our life. Um, without that perception of living, our life can be dull, it could be um, resentful. And so I like this part where it says, do not go gentle into that good night. Let's enjoy life. Even the the bad, if you want to call it the bad, I always call it the challenging. Let's enjoy it. And yes, you're going to go through the emotions. I think we try to stop our emotions and be super positive. I don't think that's the point. I think the point is, is that we need to stop trying to go around life and just go through it. And I think with practice and I think with acceptance, our life just slowly begins to change. And those small things that we may have overlooked begin to make a big difference. I saw a quote somewhere, I don't know if it was on YouTube or Facebook, or maybe I was reading it, and it talked about how a smile can make a difference, a hug. And uh, I've been reading this book about how people just want to be seen. And all our hurry and all the technology and everything that's going on, we don't even acknowledge each other. We just barely even acknowledge ourselves. So I think taking the moment to be seen, see your heart, see your soul and your mind, just feel it. And then when you um, talk to others, see them. Just don't simply eh, acknowledge them. There was, a, there was a mass or there was a body there in front of me and we, we said a few words. But to actually see them. And um, I think about the rest of this poem. It says to rage, rage. I think it talks about this energy that you have to bring into your life. Right? Even if it's, you know, I don't think everybody can be 100% every day. Even if it's 20% and that's all you can do, that is good enough. I don't know. I'm on the road and I'm seeing relatives and family and I'm just encouraged um, by the way people are living their lives. And it's just a good reminder to me that this, as we've heard many times, is not a dress rehearsal. Let us enjoy our life this very moment. If you need to, take a deep breath. And in that new moment, just start again. Anyway, I hope I've green-lighted your day. Have a nice one, guys. I'll see you again from the road.